I always said I'm going to be late, and I just texted him. Grandma's Attic Music Review. For those of you that don't know, I just graduated from Mitchell College here in New London, Connecticut. And I have also been accepted to UConn, to the School of Social Work. So Grandma's going to be busy for the next three years, but we're not going to stop doing our show. So stay tuned in and hear all the wonderful things that are going on. Have we got a treat for you tonight? Oh my goodness. Um, one of these young ladies was here on the show a long time ago, many years ago, many years ago. It doesn't seem possible. She's all grown up now. Not really. She's still, she's still young and pretty, really young and still really pretty. But she's brought her friends with her tonight and they're going to play wonderful music for you. It's not like any other band. I'm just going to tell you that. You're going to have so much fun. Please sit back, relax, get your beverage of choice and maybe some popcorn, and welcome into your hearts and into your home the cat, Matt, Tori, right? Tor. <laughs> Trio. Thank you so much, Dot. We're so happy to be here on Grandma's Attic. And uh, my name is Tor, and we have Matt on saxophone, Kath on euphonium, and I'm playing guitar and uh, flute, and we are the Cat, Matt, and Tor trio, and we're so happy to be here, so please enjoy. We're going to play some original tunes for you guys. I'll tell you about all of my fears and it seems that every time we hang out I always end up crying 
I fall asleep in your bed. Your chest a pillow for my worried head. Your heartbeat a metronome. For my mind when it knows it should be home. It should be home. And I just want some peace of mind. But I'm This is a simple song about a simple love that don't need much explaining. Just like the symbol of a white dove taking flight. Oh yes, it flies after it was captured. Yes, it was captured, captured like my heart. When you took me inside and told me I should never hide from you. It was my heart that never had to decide when I was thinking that I'm right for you. It was a simple glance that made my heart dance and I started laughing. I couldn't understand what was really happening. Was this for real or am I dancing in a daydream? That's just how it seemed. Then you took my hand, you spun me around and told me I've always had eyes for you. You lift me high, put me up on a cloud and said I'll be here to catch you. I will always catch you.
you. That was a new one. All right, and this is an old one, so <laughs> <laughs> we hope you like this one too. I feel like in this song, um, some people might relate to this considering what we've been through for the past year. Um, and so yeah, hope you like it. It's been a long road to travel on just to get here. It hasn't been clear, and so we're moving on. I don't want to travel another road this way. Not today. Not tomorrow. a little bit. We got ukulele up in yep. here. <laughs> All right, let's All right. see. Go for it. This is a song I played on the first time I was on Grandma's Attic. And just hear how it transformed. <laughs> yeah. Go back a couple years and listen to the first first time she did it. <laughs> Please don't. It's, it's on YouTube. On YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> it is. All right. All right, let's do it. side more like a moderate high it's better when i'm touching you so come 
toes, I could cry, don't feel like I want to die, I fall asleep alone, and I feel so equal, how can I be so unique when there's so many people, I'm hidden in my disguise, will you love me even when I cry, I'm waiting here now for you. Song one more time, maybe then you'll be mine. Not everything I do is right. I don't think it's a crime, you know. Someday I'll be fine. I fall asleep alone, and I feel so equal. How can I be so unique when there's so many people? Whoa.
moss. <laughs> They're all good ones. I say that every time. <laughs> this is one of our favorites. <laughs> this, this one's written by our, our Matt, our one and only Matt. Thank you. Memories within me, but I'm better for them. Too many memories within me, and I don't want them. Too many memories within me, but I'm better for them. I'm better for them. I'm better for them. Changed and rearranged my mind. 
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do something a little softer. <laughs> we love the the rock tunes, but we've got a lot of diversity in our music, so um, we hope you like that. Um, this is a little jazzy, so. It's called Waiting for the Long Days. I've been waiting for the long days, the long days in the sun. church bells this is the first time that i've seen you and birds they fly but they always come back home and tears of cry when you have to be left alone and i don't have control over what I'm feeling and the bells continue to toll but I don't feel inspired by a game that you might know it's called dungeons and dragons you may know it you may love it you may hate it you may think we are crazy <laughs> but this is a backstory of this victoria is a backstory of my character, character. So, so it's all fantasy land okay so get in that mindset <laughs> She lived in a dark 
before. Watching the sun go and the moon rise above, it's taking me away. I never thought that it would be like this for a while. I never thought that it could be. Yeah, right? Yeah. Woohoo! All right. All right. Cool. We're going quicker than we thought we were. Did we turn it Everyone wants to say that they're right Everyone wants to say that they know it all Everyone has a say and they're right Everyone has a say and they're a know it all 
on for this or is there no getting through You want to put your instruments down and come mic up? Yeah, and uh, yeah. yeah. So well, well, um, while our little trio, while our little trio is getting over here and setting up, let me just remind you that there are wonderful things going on in downtown New London. Wonderful things. There's galleries that are open. The waterfront is active and there's things going on down there all the time. The hygienic art park is open and there's music coming in for like a lot of weekends. So come on, come on, hon. Don't worry about cutting me off. You don't need to worry about, you don't need to worry about that. I'm good with that. So anyway, check out Support Local Music, guys. There's local music in a lot of different venues. Right off the top of my head, Fio, uh, Philomena's, uh, The Phoenix, um, Brick and Basil, uh, Strange, Strange, Strange Brew. These are all places just off the top of my head that are all doing live music all the time. So get out there and support live music, support local artists, and take care of your community, okay? Let's talk to the band. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. Oh my goodness! So, yeah. So actually, let's let's put things into perspective. You guys are actually a quartet, <laughs> but you call yourselves a trio. Yes. But you added another member that actually plays the drums. Yes. That's correct. Straighten me out. <laughs> yes. Straighten me out. So his name is Will. Mm -hmm. That's right. And he's also kind of a sound man. Yes. Yeah. Yes. He went, Doubles to as the sound man. he went to school for sound production and or music production and he's gone through being our bassist and being a trombone player with us and now he's our drummer um, and we've also been playing music with him since we were kids because he is our cousin also oh. well <laughs> so. there you go there you go and so. we're sorry he couldn't be with us today but because of covid um, we could only have three people, and we had to send our cameraman away to even have you guys in. So mm -hmm. we're sorry that Will is not here, but the music is fabulous. Thank you. Oh, my yeah. gosh. You have grown. <laughs> grown. <laughs> Let's just talk about that. Your songwriting has just um, stepped up a few notches. Yeah. How does that make you feel? Um, it, it's, it feels really good, uh, to be playing with other people and, and doing a solo show definitely was super nerve wracking. I think when I came on here the first time I was very nervous, but it, it, I was only playing ukulele and I was playing all my original songs, um, that I like first wrote. And so then I kind of graduated to guitar mm -hmm. and I started writing, um, more and I guess they just kind of grown with me as a musician as I've learned the guitar and as I've um, learned how to structure my songs um, and just playing with these guys too a lot of the songs that like we write um, some of them I'll start 
the song and I'll ask them to contribute with the lyrics or with the melody. And so there's like a few of the songs that we played today, we all had a part in writing, which was really fun. And That's neat. Yeah, so it's been really great uh, writing and playing with other people and just doing music alone is great, but doing it with other people is just so much fun. It is, it really is. And the collaboration that goes on when you guys are writing together. You wrote a couple of these songs. Yeah, it was my first time writing. Like Really? Lyrics, yeah, these guys inspired me like crazy to like get down to it and like at, at least write a song. Cause I've always been a musical guy and uh, playing a saxophone and singing and, but I've never just like taken the time to write my own tunes. Um, I've always done covers and you know, other bands, but um, these guys really made me want to, you know, sit down and like write my own, write my own stuff. Um, I think you heard one song I wrote, uh, Walk in Shoes, that was like my first step into songwriting. Um, and of course, I'm my own worst critic, so I'm gonna right. say, oh, that, you know, How that did that stinks. make you feel to write a song and have it performed with other people? It's, cr it's amazing, it's crazy, because you have an idea of what it's gonna sound like in your head, Yeah. but then when you bring it to the table, other people contribute different ideas and it becomes something even more special because it's collaborative at that point, right. you know? Right. Um, and it just, it's great to see, you know, obviously people's reactions to the song and, and how it, uh, if it resonated with them in any way. And that's very special and I'm just learning that now. So mm -hmm. um, I'm gonna continue writing and, and hopefully get better and better. Like these guys, these guys can crank out songs like 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 nothing. Really? Yeah, it's crazy. Kat, you love to write music, and you've got an amazing voice. Just just oh, tell thank so you too, by the way. But you knew that. You knew that I love your voice. <laughs> but anyway, what makes you write a song? Um. So I I definitely get inspired by Tor because Tor she has a such a drive for music that I I watch her and I'm. I'm always like, oh, I want to be like that too. Even though we're twins um, and we are very similar, I definitely feel an inspiration from Victoria. Um, and then I also get inspired by like my feelings and like what I'm going through at the time. And sometimes it's like a personal song where it's almost like scary to show other people because it's, something like something deep that I'm going through that I want to share and it's nerve-wracking so um it but it's definitely like a emotional release mm -hmm. playing music and I I feel the most comfortable on stage mm -hmm. and it's just um yeah so writing music has always been um a therapeutic type um thing for me now, what's going on with you guys as far as putting out a CD? Um, well, being that our cousin is a music producer, we definitely have a bit of an in with him. So uh -huh. um, we're going to try to put out an EP um, of a few songs, a few of our favorites, and uh, put that into the world. And it'll probably be out by the end of the summer. So we'll let you know when, definitely. That's, when that's ready. I know who will play it on the radio. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I love that. I, I have it in with a DJ at WCNI. Oh, Ooh. perfect. Awesome. So, um, so that's, that's a neat thing. I'm glad to hear you guys are doing that. Mm -hmm. What made you guys decide to get together and do this? And when did you start playing the flute? <laughs> I've been playing the that's flute. That's like two questions. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. I'll start with the flute. So. I've been playing the flute since fourth grade, actually. It was my first instrument. Um, you didn't play it on my show last time you were here. I didn't, but that, I was also alone. So I could have just done a random improvised flute solo just by myself, but it sounds much better when you have a band behind you. It does, excuse me. Um, it does. Yeah. So, yeah, I've been playing the flute um, in band since fourth grade, and I stuck with it and I'm really happy that I like continued to play it beyond college even or through college and beyond 
Um, and yeah, definitely wouldn't be like for without these guys to right. pl like playing it. Um, I would continue. love to tell the story about Go how ahead. we got together because, well, Tor and I are, are twin sisters, if you couldn't tell, and Matt is my boyfriend, and we just all so <laughs> happen to sing. Um, and, yeah. <laughs> and Victoria found us a gig in Washington, D.C., where we oh, weren't yeah. a band yet. We weren't anything. She was like, hey, guys, do you want to play in Washington, D.C. with me? And we were like, yeah, let's do it. And so we decided to take a Greyhound bus down to DC <laughs> yeah. with our instruments. With all of our instruments, it yep. smelled terrible. <laughs> the, bus? the bus? Yeah, did, yeah, the bus yeah. did. Or the instruments. The instruments, no. were, <laughs> instruments were sanitary, very sanitary. Yeah. So yeah, and we called ourselves the Cat, Matt, and Tor Trio, and we went down and we played, and it was amazing. We had such a fun time in DC. Where did you play? The show was in front of uh, the Lincoln Memorial. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So it was that very was awesome. It was beautiful. Yeah. Um, it was crazy. And uh, yeah, so we had a great time, and so we've just stuck with it ever since. Mm -hmm. Wow. How did you pull it? How did you pull off getting a gig in front of the in front of the Lincoln Memorial? How did you pull that off? We Funny story. I mean. I, through playing open mics and doing random music things, like how I met you doing right. an open mic many years ago, some people will reach out to me like you did like so that many years ago. Um, and a woman that I met at um, an open mic in New Haven reached out to me and said, hey, we're going down to play for this benefit concert in front of the Lincoln Memorial. Do you want to come? And play, and I was like, "Yeah, but I'm not doing that alone. I gotta bring my people with me, you know." Right. So I gotta bring my peeps. <laughs> Absolutely. So I brought them, and it, yeah, and that's what sparked it. And so ever since then, um, we realized that we can do three-part harmony. And Matt, yeah. Matt goes to school for opera singing, actually. So I do. Um, yeah. You do have a very nice voice. Thank you so much. Thank um, you. So, did you two know? Well, there's a thing called sibling harmonies. I don't know if you know that, but it's a thing. It's a real thing. Okay. Um, the Everly Brothers probably oh, yeah. made it very popular a couple of years ago. I won't <laughs> date myself, but <laughs> then the Chapin sisters, I don't know if you know who they are, they put out an album called A Night with the Everly Brothers mm -hmm. and did all Everly Brothers songs as females in sisterly harmony. Oh, cool. The Meadows brothers, who you may know from Connecticut, mm -hmm. have sibling harmonies that are pretty awesome. <laughs> and there's a band called Hilton Park that you might not know about, but they don't have sibling harmonies, but they have dad-son harmonies. Mm -hmm. And it's built, it's built into you as blood relatives it's genetically impossible for you to not harmonize yeah. <laughs> that's like, what they've I proven believe, yeah. it's like a beach boy yeah, yeah 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 so did you guys know you could harmonize did, have you grown up singing harmony together for like ever yeah we we have we've been singing since um i mean i can't even remember but um since we were kids we would sing in the car and then we would practice Broadway show tunes nice. together <laughs> and we would um, harmonize with each other and we would sing, um, I don't know if anybody knows like Rent, but we sang like Take Me or Leave Me. And that was, <laughs> that's kind of a funny song to sing as sisters if you know it, but. Um, it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's strange, but. Um, yeah, so we've been singing since like middle school probably together and then we did like an um, a talent show in middle school together. That was and the first time we really knew that we could like harmonize and everybody and we didn't know like that it sounded like we were like, oh, this sounds cool. Let's do it. And then we did it in front of the whole school and we sang Dear Prudence in harmony. Nice. And all of our classmates were like, whoa, like, oh my gosh, you guys, like, 
that's crazy. Like, and so we were like, oh, wow, this is like pretty cool. <laughs> so ever since then, we just like, all right, let's take advantage of this. Let's keep harmonizing. Absolutely. And we Absolutely. just have so much fun doing it. Yeah, and so. we haven't stopped since. We've always been singing like all the time, every day. Yeah, all that's, the time. That's awesome. Now, let's get, here's a question. Mm -hmm. What do your parents think about what you're doing? They love it. Do they? Yeah, my yeah. parents love it. Yeah, for oh, sure. Yeah. They're so supportive. Well, if you're in school for, for opera, yeah. your parents are paying for that, maybe. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> maybe they expect you to be doing some. Oh, yeah, they, they expect me to be, uh, you know, running around and, New York City <laughs> getting, trying to get some jobs. But, you know, because of Corona, you know. <laughs> yeah, Corona's kind of... Uh, that's why we all got to get our down. vaccines and, and do the right thing, wear our masks and all that stuff. We mm -hmm. got to do that. So, um, when, how do I do this? How do you decide what instruments are going to go into what song? Mm, that's a good question. Um, no, I think it really depends on kind of the feel of the song. I mean, there's different like I said before, you have an idea and then you, you present it to a band and then you run it um, with the instrumentation that you think is right. Mm -hmm. um, but you discover along the way, oh, I want flute in this measure. I want, um, you know, even cowbell, you know, we've had before, uh, mm -hmm. percu auxiliary percussion instruments. Um, it really just depends on like kind of the mood or the feel that we're going for. Mm -hmm. And there's situations where we've had a song that we change the feel of it, but it's the same song. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, we just mix mix it up a little bit with the instrumentation. Um, yeah, it happened to, to the fresh. song that you did on, on my show yeah. years ago that you just did again yeah. here. Yeah. So, guys, where can people find you real quick? And mm -hmm. then we have to let you take us out with a song. Yeah, you can find us on Facebook or Instagram at Cat Matt Tour Trio. Can you see that? Is that too small? <laughs> <laughs> we have I a business know. card, but it's quite tiny. Ooh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looks nice on TV. It does. Um, yeah. So we're. It's Cat, K A T, Matt and Tour Trio on Facebook and Instagram, and you can also email us at catmatttourtrio at gmail.com. If you're interested in us playing for anything, really, we would do, we love playing no matter what. So if you want us to play for like a birthday party or something like that, we'd love to do that. So. And they're also on Facebook and Instagram, and now they're gonna go take us out with a song. Guys, thank you I'm so gonna, much. Take, so your, much. Little, take yeah. your little things off. And while they're doing that, I'm just gonna talk to y'all about ways to support your neighborhood. Do you know that if you spend your money in your neighborhood that your economy grows? If you're spending your money at the big box stores, I'm not going to name any, just know. If you're spending your money, that money does not stay in your community. But if you go to the mom and pop shops and the independently owned businesses in your neighborhood, guess what's going to happen? That money is going to stay in your neighborhood because those people live in your neighborhood and support their neighborhoods too. So do it and wear your mask and get, a, get vaccinated if you want to. If you don't want to, do it anyway. Just my opinion. And now the Cat Matt Trio is going to take us out with a song. Until next week, everybody, be blessed. Have a great week, wear your mask, and I'll see you next Saturday. Bye-bye. All right, let's rock. Let's do it. to be free I 
I'll take all apologies. Yeah. 